Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to trim your GameCube ISO games into smaller files. So if you guys didn't know, when you back up a GameCube ISO game off a disc, it's actually a, the size of the disc, so they're all actually the same size. I can find out right now um, if I just find my Dolphin folder. So here I am in my Dolphin emulator folder. If I go into games right here, you guys can see that if I find all the GameCube games, um, if I sort it by size, you can see that this stack right here are all GameCube because the size is around 1.4 gigabytes. So I can actually just right click, go on properties. Yeah, it's roughly 1.30 gigabytes. So yeah, pretty interesting. None of these have been trimmed, I can tell, because they're all the exact disk size. So what we're going to be doing is trimming these down. We might be able to knock maybe about 300 megabytes off, 500 if you're lucky. And then you can use these on your Dolphin emulator on Windows, Android. Um, you can play them on your Wii um, using the um, Nintendo emulator. Um, there's just loads of uses. And of course, this saves storage, so it's just really useful. So what you guys want to do, you want to go to a link in the description of this video. It's called the Game cube iso tool um, you want to scroll down and you just want to click on the download link right here so it's just going to download it should take a few seconds right so just find wherever you downloaded it to now double click on the zip folder just to open it and we want to run the program so it's just called uh, gcit just double click on that and it will open up. So what we're going to do from here is find one of our GameCube ISOs to open. So go over to File, Open ISO, and now you just want to locate your games. Obviously mine are in Dolphin Emulator, Games, um, yours can pretty much be anywhere on your PC, just locate them. And now you want to find a game that you wish to compress a bit. So we've got quite a few games here. Um, I'll tell you what we can do, let's try Super Mario Sunshine and see how much it can take off this. So we're going to click on Open, it's going to tell us a bit about the game, all the information. There's other stuff you can do with this as well. I just find trimming to be the most useful. So we're just going to click on this one here. We're going to do save ISO trimmed. And now, as you can see, it's going to give it kind of like a custom name. That's fine. We're just going to click on save. And now what it's going to do is make a copy and start trimming it. So this doesn't really take too long. Maybe just like a minute or something. Just So just give it 60 seconds and then we'll see how much it got trimmed off. Okay, so it said it has done. Once you've done, you can actually just close out of the program. And now let's see how much got trimmed off. So here we go. Here is our new Super Mario Sunshine ISO. And we can see it's actually lost a bit. If we right click, go to properties. This is now just above one gigabyte. And previously, how much was it previously? This one right here. Previously, it was 1.35, so not too bad. And we can actually do this to all of our GameCube ISOs, and obviously it's going to add up, and it's going to become probably about a gigabyte. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can trim your games down and just save some storage on your PC. And obviously, the game works exactly the same. Just refresh it. As you can see, we've got a new one up here. Um, it's this one right here because we can... Oops, where is it? This one right here because we can tell by the size. So what we can do is just click on play and the game is just going to play like normal. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.